along train tracks in the dark of night, through open fields in sometimes frigid temperatures. There's been a surge in the number of people crossing the border near Emerson, Manitoba, walking from the U.S. into Canada to seek asylum. Today, Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodell was on the ground to get a first-hand look. We want to ensure that as this situation unfolds that uh, our agencies, the RCMP and the CBSA, are uh, fully in a position to, uh, to deal with all of the public safety issues and to uh, keep uh, Canadians safe. So far, RCMP say 183 people have illegally crossed into Canada near Emerson this year. That's just the people they know about. The Goodell announced the, the federal government will give $30,000 to local fire departments to cover the cost so far of responding to emergency calls. There is no cap on it right now. Like, there is no end to it. So I, I have, in good faith, uh, I'm confident that our costs will be covered. Jay Imey is a volunteer first responder. I'm starting to see more and more women now. We've had a couple pregnant mothers, a couple of young babies, young children. He says the extra funding is a relief. It's almost a third of our operating budget, so... With that, we won't have, to, won't have to raise taxes, won't have to dig in, find other funds or steal from other pockets. Conservative MP Ted Falk represents the area. He's happy to see federal ministers visiting the community, but wants to see the government take action to stop illegal crossings. I think that's something the government has to figure out because we need to make sure that, uh, that the integrity of our border is uh, protected and, uh, and that we have proper border security here. Goodell says RCMP and CBSA officers have been redeployed to the border to help meet the demand. I want to make the point that uh, all Canadian laws are being enforced. Still, as temperatures warm up, it's not clear how many more people will make the trek into Canada this spring. Alana Cole, CBC News, Emerson.